The Teleport platform consists of three products. Teleport Access, to secure privileged access to infrastructure. Teleport Identity, to further harden your security with identity governance. And Teleport Policy, to unify and control access policies across all of your infrastructure. Together, these products improve productivity for engineers, make infrastructure resilient to identity-based attacks, and enable companies to pass audits with flying colors. In this video, we'll cover the basics of Teleport. The Teleport platform improves productivity for engineers and operations teams. Let's take a look at Teleport Access. Teams use Teleport to provide access to all infrastructure resources across clouds and on-prem. Dave has an inventory of all the resources that he can access to get his job done. He can quickly get access to a range of resources without having to worry about passwords or configs. Here, David can go from logging into an internal dashboard to accessing a Windows server to kubectl exec into a Kubernetes cluster, all from a single dashboard that unifies a view of all the resources he is authorized to access. All activity is centrally recorded at the protocol level, making it easy to download fine-grained audit data and pass audits with flying colors. Next up is Teleport Identity. Teleport Identity can help harden infrastructure with identity, governance, and security. Let's take a look at how it can help keep your infrastructure resilient to threats. The first stage in hardening infrastructure is to limit long-standing privileges to resources. This can be solved by using access requests and reviews from your team. Here, Samantha has zero standing privilege but can easily view a list of resources that she can request access to. She's able to build an inventory of resources that she needs access to, and her team can quickly approve the access. Sebastian, the security system supervisor, is reviewing Samantha's access. He notices that weak sessions are logging into core systems. To resolve this, he enforced device trust and required second factor on core systems. Device Trust enforces the requirement that only company issued and patched systems can obtain access. While investigating the strange access pattern, Sebastian identifies unusual behavior on one of the systems and for one of the intern's accounts. He places a temporary lock on the user and the resource until he can investigate further. By leveraging access monitoring, access requests, device trust, and identity locking, the team can be proactive in protecting and hardening access with Teleport Identity. Lastly, we'll review Teleport Policy. Teleport Policy helps teams unify policies and controls across all your infrastructure. This starts by identifying weak access patterns. Access Graph provides visibility into who has access to what with an easy to understand UI. The built-in standing privilege report can be used to quickly identify overly privileged accounts for all resources, both for users and machines in the system. Understanding the access graph makes it easier to lock down users. Access graph query helps uncover and eliminate shadow and risky access patterns with a flexible query interface to build the commands to control your system. Teleport policy can cross providers, making it easy to review policies across clouds and on-prem. By adopting Teleport policy, teams get a simple visual understanding of their infrastructure. This wraps up an overview of the Teleport platform, improving productivity for engineers, making infrastructure resilient to identity-based attacks, and enabling companies to pass the audits with flying colors.